Hello and welcome back to the Pacific Coast Model Works YouTube channel. Hey, if you watched my last video about Tinkercad, you saw me use an SVG file to create a textured pattern, which I then impressed into a wall. Well, if you thought about it, you might have realized, wait a minute, if I can create a 3D object from a 2D SVG drawing, then there's probably a lot of things I can do in Tinkercad with that. So today in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use SVG files to create sophisticated objects in Tinkercad. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell so you get notifications, and you can always come back here and see my next tutorial. We'll begin the tutorial in Inkscape with a blank document. I'm going to select the Bezier tool and holding the control key down to keep the lines orthogonal. Just going to create an arbitrary shape here. Nothing particular, but maybe a part for a machine or something like that. We'll go to the fill and stroke tab, select stroke style and set the width to one millimeter. Now I'm going to go in and actually edit the nodes on this line by adding nodes to either side of the corners and then deleting the corners. Again, holding the control key, I'll adjust the Bezier curves to be a nice, gentle curve. I'll do that again down here on this corner. Delete the center node and adjust the curve. All right, once I have it looking the way I want it, I'll go use the select tool. I will duplicate this curve and then I will flip it horizontally, the duplicate, and drag it to where it joins up with the original curve. Now I'm going to select both. And from the path menu, I will select combine, which turns them into a single path or a single curve, I should say. Now I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this again. Holding the control key, I'm going to drag it down and I'm going to set the width of the stroke to four millimeters. Then I'll just drag it up to where they align. It's not that critically important that they align, but... Now the next thing I need to do is select both of them and from the path menu choose stroke to path, which changes them from strokes to, you might have guessed it, paths. I'll delete one of them a file save as and save to SVG. I use the same file over and over and just replace it as I'm exporting parts. In Tinkercad I do import, select my file, import once again, and Tinkercad creates a 3D object from my SVG. Now I'll go ahead and undo the delete I had just done previously. And I'll select the other object, which is the thinner of the two, and I'll delete that one. I'll do a save as again, save over the same SVG file. Go back into Tinkercad and import once again. Use my file once again, import, and the second part comes in. Now I'm going to make a few adjustments to the two parts. I'm going to stretch this one down to where it's one millimeter thick. I'll set this one at three millimeters thick. 
Now I'm going to select them both and choose the alignment tool. And I'm going to align the tops and the centers here. Now I'm going to go ahead and group them together. And I usually color my groups gray just to let me know that they're groups. And here we have our part. Fairly sophisticated little part for Tinkercad and pretty easily made. I think you'll find this technique is useful. With a little ingenuity, you can do a lot of things in Tinkercad. You still can't do complex, multiple curved objects, but there are a lot of things you can do using SVG and Tinkercad. Until the next video, this is Scott Ford saying, happy modeling, friends.